Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels. And today, I'm going to tell you guys about birds of a feather. That's right, birds of a feather. But what is Matthew Daniels talking about? Um, a long, long time ago, somewhere in the area that we call North Africa today, there lived a holy man who had seven sons. These sons, all except for the youngest, was ruthless, violent, brutish, and harsh. They indeed had a bad reputation throughout their village. The youngest son, however, was not the same as his older brothers. He was kind, humble, righteous, and good. He wanted to do no evil in life, and he did not like to cause others harm. As the youngest son got older and he spent more time amongst his brothers, he slowly began to think in his mind that the way in which his brothers acted was the way in which men should act. So, the youngest brother began to imitate his brothers, and even though he did not want to, he became ruthless, violent, brutish, and harsh. Over time, all of the holy man's sons committed crimes and were sentenced to work for a time in the mine outside of the village. The youngest son eventually went there too, and while there, he had time to consider the trajectory of his life. He realized that he had become vile and wicked, and he hated himself for this. I would rather be dead, the youngest son declared, than to continue to live life as an unrighteous individual. Indeed, someone such as myself do not deserve to live. He then found a rope and set out to hang himself. Feeling embarrassed by his actions, he slowly slid the noose around his own neck. Then he stood on top of a rock. Then, taking one last breath amongst the living, he closed his eyes and stepped off the rock. When he did, he felt a strange sensation around his whole body, and upon opening his eyes, he saw that he was suspended in a white light. This, a loud voice called out, is not the end for you. Indeed, you have done much wickedness, and you must atone for your deeds. However, this is not the way in which you will atone. Your actions were vile, but your heart is still pure. You will endure this current trial, and you will suffer that which you must suffer. And at the end of this storm of life, you will become stronger. You will then be ready to do that which you came to earth to do. The young man awoke on the ground with the rope still around his neck. He took it off and went back to his toil. From that day forward, the youngest son did that which was good, and he helped many people along the way. Even his brothers, after being in the presence of the youngest brother while he was doing good, started to do that which is good as well. And so, the morning motivation of the day is, birds of a feather. Be careful who you choose to hang around, and be mindful of the actions of others. It is easy for the good to be corrupted if the good spends time with the wicked. You are a very special person, and you came to this earth for a reason. You may have been knocked off course a few times, and you may have turned your back on yourself. However, it is not over until it is over. Regardless of what has happened in the past, today you can go out and do that which is good, and you can get back on the path to achieving your dreams. You just have to believe that you can. And remember, you are awesome, you are amazing, you are wonderful, and you are great. And you are going to change the world. I just hope I'm still alive to see it, family. I'm out. Good morning.